Tammy from Tammy Colors 2, and I am here today with a haul, yay! And I am drinking uh, Yunnan Pine Needles, and they're not really pine needles, that's just what they're called. Um, you know, since I'm drinking tea, I kind of feel obligated to tell y'all what I'm drinking. <laughs> um, it's very good if you like green tea. Um, that one came from Tea Runners in our subscription, but I believe you can buy it. I can always link it in the description if you want. Um, tastes like a basic green tea. Uh, but I'm not here to talk about tea. I'm here to do a haul. And I actually don't have as much as I thought I would. Um, but I think because it just trickled in um, over the month, I didn't really buy a whole bunch of anything all at once and so there's not really that much um so uh we shouldn't be here terribly long maybe 20 minutes or so <laughs> if you're trying to schedule your day you know um so let's see what are we going to start with i'll do the supplies first because that's what i do <laughs> So I found the Crayola Twistables, um, I don't know, I was at Meyer or something, uh, looking for something completely different. And these are the Bold and Bright. There are 12 colors in here. I do have the 50 set of Crayola Twistables. Um, there are some books I use them in. I do like them. Uh, they will be in my colored pencil review. Colored, getting to know my colored pencils uh, selection. Uh, of videos that I'm doing. Um, so these are supposed to be, I don't know, brighter, more vivid, especially formulated to pop on dark paper. So um, just so you know, let's see, I did them on white and black. Um, and these are the colors. Now they're I mean, they are, these are my Crayola Twistables. I probably need to do a little better swatch sheet. I mean, this is a very old swatch chart, um, so I could probably do a little better <laughs> now. But, I mean, on white paper, some of the colors don't look very, they don't really look different, to be honest. Um, there's the blue and the sky. Uh, there's no oh there's the sky blue um but what did I do I had a piece of paper here it is so I colored some of these normal ones uh that I've had for a while on here and like this is the lemon yellow but this is actual green um so you can tell that they do look much brighter. I mean, if you're just comparing this green, you can tell it really does pop on on the on the black paper. Um so yeah, they 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 are as advertised. Um so I may just keep them in this box. Uh although they are I should show you. Um you you could always tell them apart because they do say bold and bright on them. You're not gonna get them mixed up. Although you could, I mean I don't think it really matters which one you use. Um if you wanna know since they're not labeled, I have my I keep my acryl adjustables in this that I bought. I think it was on a haul last year sometime. So I put them in here and I basically um put little labels on them. <laughs> so that I could match them up on my swatch chart. Uh, so they're all in here, and I'm not sure 12 more will fit. They all fit perfectly in this little case. I thought that was cute. Um, but yeah, we'll have to figure out what I want to do with these. Add them to the case. So I thought that was cool. I'll get like these to the side. I didn't know, even though I watched Jenny's crayon collection, I must have missed it somewhere. Let's see, what else did I get? Um, I got some Artistro um, white paint pens. It's funny. Uh, one of my friends, Christopher, and I were in a conversation about white gel pens and stuff, and I realized that um, a lot of people use white 
acrylic paint pen to do highlights and I don't really have any fine tip ones and I've been wanting to get some and these are the Artistro and these came in together the black and the white I'm like well I use black all the time uh for my um Disney color by numbers so I don't mind having those um and they were in like Sarah Renee Clark's video I could use use this maybe because I think um I didn't I don't think I have any Artistro paint pens whatsoever I can't test the, the black one on here oh look I'm going right through the paper any day now oh you know, there it goes Ooh, that was right. Nice. I'm liking that. Now, will it pick up the color? I don't know. That's the problem. Like, some colors, like the white gel pen. But, yeah, these are nice. I'm liking these. So, the black ones are nice. And this, even though these have, like, a fine tip. I got that extra fine. These tips are nicer than... I like them better than other ones that I have had. Probably that I sent back that had tips like that but you know what it could be that other pens have the exact same tips and I just don't realize or maybe you know there's always like a whole combination of things that goes into um making you know things and the combination of the paint and the tip and all that can can make a difference so you never know um also since I have the piece of paper I have watched coloring with Kay forever and she loves these uniball in the quest to find um silver and gold right um now I have had these before not I wasn't like the biggest fan I've even had the white one and I wasn't the biggest fan but I noticed because she kept saying oh the uniball signos are the glitteriest and the best and I realized that she had these stick pens and not these <laughs> And these are much harder to find in the United States, these little stick ones. And I found these on Amazon and they all came together and I'm like, well, you know, fine. I'll just get them all. I mean, they weren't terribly expensive. So um, I'd rather have more than just pay like $8 for two pens or something, you know. So I really wanted to try them. Um, even though I, I'm like, they can't be different. <laughs> So here's the silver of the stick. Probably should just put an S. And here's the gold. It's nice and shiny. GS. I don't even know why I needed to put a gold in there. So, you know, that's nice. I like that. So then let's see if there's a difference between... Um, I might have... I don't know. I like them both, to be honest. I'm sure other people have you. I mean, like I said, I have used. Ooh, I kind of like this one. <laughs> I have used these in the past, and I was not the biggest fan. But these, I mean, maybe because they're newer and they've improved them, um, they're much better. I mean, look how the silver on the black. Of course, this is black paper, you know. Um, it almost looks like the white. <laughs> it's so silver, it looks like the white gel pen. That's hilarious. Um, so yeah, those are cool. They're never going to shine as much as your Caliro. Um, if anybody's interested, I know someone complained that, uh, I don't link everything, um, in my description box because it, it's a lot of work. Um, but if you don't mind asking, I mean, if, if, if I get a lot of complaints that say, well, don't, you know, I have to ask, <laughs> like, if, if it really bothers people, I'll start trying to link everything, but I know not a lot of people link everything. Um, I don't know what people are going to be interested in. Um, they're not affiliate links or anything. So, um, let's see, what else did I get? So I got some more. These are a different brand this time because I just buy whatever. Um, I had an idea because I've for a long time I've wanted to make a pen or a marker with um, 
These are just um, colorless blenders. I don't even know what brand these are. Um, you know, they have a, a broad and a, a fine and a broad tip. Um, because I use them with my ink tents. So one thing I want to do, and I even got some some of the Ohuhu ones, which there's six. Is there six in each one? Yeah, there's six in this one. Um, these are like $5.99. These are $9.99. Um, these have a chisel and a brush, and they're just plain colorless blenders. Um, so I wanted to do two things. I wanted to... Um, kind of make a color family grouping um probably with these I don't know uh which ones I'm going to use um but I can always use more colorless blenders so with my ink tints I wanted to make a yellow you know like take my color wheel or just figure out what color families I need like a blue a purple a yellow and that way I'm cleaning them off and it's not going to matter as much because if you use a yellow and you don't get it all the way cleaned off or if you use a blue you, you know ink uh, activate your ink tents with blue and then you go back to yellow and you don't quite get it all the way cleaned off you can get some of that into your uh, lighter color so I figured I could just mark them like put a sticker on them and mark them with blue purple whatever and then they could just be for that that color and then um I wouldn't have to worry about getting them sparkly clean every time uh, because at some some rate it doesn't matter also what I wanted to do was <laughs> let one dry out and then put um, what's it called uh, odorless mineral spirits in it and use it as a blender I don't know which one though maybe one of these maybe one of my other one I have like a million colorless blenders um, cause I use these all the time. I love colorless blenders. Um, they are very versatile for all kinds of different things. So, uh, those came from Amazon. If anybody's interested, um, obviously the Ohuhu ones you can buy on their website. Um, I meant to say it was also a very disappointing month <laughs> for many reasons. Um, I got these, they've, I just got these because they've been selling them ridiculously cheap. I think they're clearing out their inventory. There's 12 chroma markers. Uh, um, in December, it was either November or December, I bought a couple of 72 sets because they were on a ridiculously cheap sale. Um, these are a little bit different because they're brush tips. Um, these are like $4 for these 12. And these are the colors. I wanted them because they're light colors. And I'm always after light colors. So they have a brush tip. Or kind of a little skinny marker and they have a chisel and they come in a really nice case you know so um I've, i like the chroma markers so far um i don't know what they're doing um why but this kind of added to a couple of the sets that i have um and they're interesting colors so i forget what set this was because they all have like a name and it's never easy to figure out what sets what to be honest um but yeah i like i like those colors i like how it's called dollar bill and it really does look like a dollar bill doesn't it i mean come on <laughs> so that's those that's those um what else did we get oh there's something oh i did pick up uh, these were on sale i've been wanting some for a long time and they're all in my carrier now, and I didn't get down my swatch. Oh no, I have my swatch chart. All right, I found it. So this is the swatch chart that I did. I downloaded this from somebody. Oh no, I bought it from a tailored image. I really liked how it was done. So um, this is the box that came in. Um, I, I don't know if I'll get another set, but uh, so they're three markers I mean people have been talking about these for a long time because um, you have the, the light the medium and the dark um, these are all fine I know they make a they make a version that is like a kind of like this color on the outside and they're a brush tip if anybody's interested in um, I was color they, they're awesome to color with I love spectrum noir markers um, they're a little 
pricey in the United States, I think, even though they have a U.S. distribution. Um, they might be even pricey in the U.K. That's why I was excited that this set was on sale. Um, and there's another set. It's 24. It's really cool because it's 24 uh, markers, but you get 72 colors. And um, a friend pointed out that you know, they're mostly used for cards, and that's right. And I am into card making, learning how to make cards, I shall say. So I have put them all in my rack over here. And I'll probably use them mostly for cards, maybe little elements, but I really do like them. I love the colors. Um, so yeah, Spectrum Noir Tribal and Markers. It was too good of a deal to pass up. Then... What was disappointing? Um, so I did get, where are they? I um, got a set of Prismacolor Scholar pencils um, because, well, I've wanted them for a long time and I've just never bought them. I mean, they're cheap, you know, they're, everyone's a, a lot of people don't like them. <laughs> and I, watch them out but here's part of the just one thing that was disappointing is that this set had three colors that were missing and I had three extra colors so I'm in the process of I have a case number with Prismacolor um and hopefully they're gonna they're gonna rectify this because I'm going back and forth with that I mean it's a it's a big company so I work for a big company, so I know what it's like. <laughs> you know, nothing is going to be immediate. I am very patient. I haven't been working with them for that long. I opened up a ticket. Um, they asked me for more information. I gave it to them, and then I messaged this morning to see if, because it's been a couple days, so I've, I'm just messaging them to see if they've come up with a resolution, what they want to do. Um, but yeah, I also bought this case to put them in. Um, because obviously the case. So um, I've seen people use them in conjunction with the regular Prismacolors. These are nice. I mean, they're not, I expected them to be hard based on what people say. These are not hard in my opinion. In my opinion, they are not hard to me. Um, I think they're nice. I think they, that uh, I've heard people say they use them for a base um, for their Prismacolors because they don't, uh, you know, wear down as quickly. Um, I found that they colored nice, they cover nicely. Um, so I need to do obviously a test on them, but here's my three missing pencils. And then these were the three extra colors that I had. So, um, that happens. It's, it's a, a common thing, but, uh, so far, I mean, they're, obviously not as nice there's like all kinds of manufacturing stuff but does the pencil work yes see this one's like split um but it's not it's not hurting the pencil any um I mean I could have told them about those like this one is split but pff, it's not the pencil colored fine I'm not gonna complain they were they were cheap so um, but I do like them, swatching them out. I thought they were cool. I can't throw my package away till I'm done with Prismacolor because they make you take pictures of the package and give UPC information and all that. So, oh, that was, that was disappointing. However, not as disappointing as, um, as this. I ordered... <laughs> I have been patiently waiting for the Derwent Ink Tents new colors to come to the United States. Um, someone said Dick had Dick Blick had them. Um, they are on their website. They are out of stock, and it says they'll be here in March. And Cult Pens was having a sale, uh, and I got a discount, and it was actually cheaper. Get this, it was actually cheaper per pencil for me to order them from Cult Pens even with like 20 ridiculous dollars in shipping <laughs> than to order them single file from individually from Dick Blick, even, you know, and obviously it would be at the discount price because there's more than 12, 
underscore six or whatever the number is. So, um, so I ordered them from Cult Pens. I patiently waited for them to get here. And what happened? <laughs> they sent me the 28 colors. I got 28 pencils. Um, and I have, this was a case that I had. Um, I have rehomed pencils and redistributed. Um, so they're all in here because I obviously need a bigger case. They were in a 72 case. Um, but they sent me an extra, um, an extra dark mink and an extra paprika. And they did not send me Wild Flame and Nightshade. And when I contacted them, they were all happy to fix it. And then they said, oh, we didn't realize you were overseas. <laughs> So because of the VAT and blah, 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 we can't send you, I mean, we can't just ship you these to you. You may have to pay import tax, blah, blah, blah. But we're happy to add them to an order if you want to order something else. So if I want to order something else, they'd be happy to pop the two pencils in there. And I can't decide that there's anything that I want bad enough to pay 20 20 bucks in shipping to get it to me so I was extremely disappointed um it happens because they're pulling the pencils individually I get it um but they made the mistake <laughs> and I you know maybe maybe I should just say ship them to me but I don't think that they would be willing to ship them to me so um I think I mean, Dick Blick says that they will have the pencils in March, March 20th. Um, I obviously, it's not like an emergency. I don't, it's not an ink tens emergency. I was just disappointed that I waited so long and finally did it and then didn't get them <laughs> all. And I can't rectify it because I'm not willing to spend more money, you know. Um, I... This is the first thing I've ever ordered from Cult Pens. I re-swatched them. I don't know if I like my swatch chart. I did um, dry water and alcohol marker because I'm often uh, activating them with alcohol marker. And there's a little bit of difference in the colors, but also there's difference when you spread them out with water. So I'm not really sure I'm in love with, with what I did, but I am so not in the mood to redo it right now, <laughs> to be honest. Um... So it'll, it'll be fine for now. But yeah, I was, I was so disappointed. <laughs> but I said that enough. Okay. So two things, two things this month. Now, let's see. I have something, uh, so that's all the supplies except for, I did buy a new shelf for my office, which I'm not going to put up here because it is very big. <laughs> um, it's the last shelf that I can fit in here. It's a rolling shelf to put some of my card making stuff on and some of my markers and things like that. Because I'm getting stuff on the floor. So the only thing else that I got was I got these trays. And I know a lot of people might use them. They are um, actually these are currently if you want some. They are at Hobby Lobby in their dish. They're actually dishes. They have dishes in the spring collection. They're part of the spring shop. They're on uh, sale like 40%. I think 40% off right now. So um, they come in sets of four. I'm using them and this is what I use them for to lay. So the big ones are good for your neo colors. The little ones are good for obvious little short pencils, <laughs> but oil pastels or pastel, you know, chalk pastels or whatever. And then, you know, they're glass, you get ceramic, you can wash them. Um, so I got these, I was watching someone's channel uh, it's not someone, it's an artist. She was like an artist and she, it's someone I've never seen before. And she's hilarious. And she did 10 surprising art supplies that you probably have around your house that you, that are the best things I, I've ever used. And these were one of them. And like, she's right. And I didn't have anything quite right to lay them in. Uh, because they do get messy. I mean, I'm new to the Neo Colors, and I noticed as I've been using them, they get messy. I don't want to get my desk all messy because sometimes they're if you're using it right off of the um, the end of the pencil, 
sometimes they're wet and then you're going to get them all over the place. I'm sure everyone knows this. <laughs> but these are extremely useful. Um, so they're at Hobby Lobby right now as of January 2024. Um, I'm sure you can find them. She had found hers at, at home, which is another home store. You can probably go looking at TJ Maxx at um, any place that has... I was just surprised. I was walking through there and I found them and I'm like, holy crap, exactly what I wanted. And that's so rare that I find exactly what I want. And I just happen to be going through looking for something else. Um, so that's all of the supplies that I have. Let me grab my book. I have them organized by size. Uh, so we'll do the smallest ones first since they're on top. Unfortunately, you know, if you think about it, you should do the big ones first because then your stack won't fall over. However, <laughs> um, these, you know, let me, let me put these over here. So I have a friend who worked at worked well yeah because he he quit because he's gonna go hike the pacific trail in california he's my age so i admire him for doing that i think it's amazing um but the other day we were at his house playing games and he's like i keep forgetting to give these to you so he bought me <laughs> um <coughs> a bunch of um uh, coloring books and things which are really cute um Actually, this one is an actual comic book, so it shouldn't be in here. <laughs> Let me put that to the side. <laughs> I forgot that was in there. Um, so this is really cute. Young Jedi Adventures. It's a little activity book that you can do little things in. I thought that was cute. Cut them out. Star Wars. Because he would do, when he would do the stocking, he was a manager. And when he would do the stocking... Um, he would see everything and he would pull stuff out, you know, like, here, I'll buy this. <laughs> These are sticker activity books, which are really cool. Um, I just thought I'd show them to you in case anybody wants to go to Dollar Tree and look. I can never find cool, well, I won't say never, but I don't often find cool things. Um, but you take the stickers. These are really nice stickers. You know, and cute pages. And you just take the stickers and make scenes out of them and... Luke Skywalker and the Dark Troopers, if you're interested in anything or for kids or whatever, these are, these are really cute. I didn't know they existed. Um, here's another one. Nice stickers, you know, more scenes and activities. So those are cool. And then he got me the Mandalorian uh, art on the edge, which the art on the edge books are really nice. So there's all the pictures that are in there. I've not opened it up yet. And they're all um, loose in here because these are quite popular with people. I'm so excited. I want to try one of these. <laughs> so that was nice. Um, my friend Jason gave them to us, me, because I can't really think that my husband's going to use them. Um, <clears throat> this was the first thing I got. I decided that um, it was too much for me to keep up with creating a calendar every month and the the things that go along with it. And so I just needed to buy one. And this has a horse on the front, which I love horses. So I went ahead and got another uh, companion, which I'm still trying to decide what things I want to put in here and how I want to do it. And it's really cute. Um, so... I got the 2024 Creative Companion. It did come in hardcover this year. Uh, so I know some people have got the hardcover. They're still the same size. Um, and I'm thinking about um, disc binding this or binding it, getting it bound or something um, myself. So I'm experiment. I'm, I am exploring my options. Uh, I did pick up Atlantis, Tales, or sorry, Tales from Atlantis by Hannah Carlson, which is beautiful. I haven't done a flip through of this. That lion is gorgeous, but there are a million. Oh, I love this book. I've been waiting for it to come out. Um, since there is no book depository anymore. Everybody says that. Since there's no book depository, <laughs> I just have to wait. Um, so, I uh, love that. So, that is a beautiful. I love these small books. Her books are so beautiful. 
uh, next um, Adriana Lay Coloring United formerly Sally Berry sent this to me to do a flip through on my channel I have done a picture which I will save uh, for my completed pages whenever I do them um, this is festive gnomes it is adorable color the I really want to do this one so I need to do that I started to do something there and my markers did that so those markers are no longer it was a cheap set of markers but uh, I don't think I'm gonna use those markers anymore anyway so I have completed a picture in here for this month um, I did pick up, you will find that I have been shopping a lot on eBay. <laughs> um, this I did get from eBay, um, Color and Reveal Animals. Uh, this must be, what is I don't know what sticker that's from. It's not Walmart. It might be a Walmart sticker, but it doesn't look like it. Um, so this is the pictures, what they look like. They are breathtaking. Uh, when you complete them so I love my color by number I am color num by number person um, the numbers are so so the paper is very nice it is thick paper look at that very nice paper um, <clears throat> so the numbers I'm not sure how much you'll see them um, you'll probably see them some they're kind of grayed out but you know, the, the line work is thinner. Um, and then here's the colors, which this is neat. It gives you the colors on separate pages. I know some people won't like that. I thought this was a really cool book. Um, so, and it will be kind of, well, I don't know. It wouldn't be too bad. I have to do one to see how much of a pain in the butt it is. But I do like that the colors aren't there. Although if you put them down here, you can just make a black frame and, you know, edit them out, so to speak. So, and they all have names. I just noticed that. Prehistoric Pilot, Escape Artist. That's cool. All right. So that was Color and revi Reveal. I keep wanting to say Revive because that sticker's on there. Um, animals, color by number. Five. Wait a minute. Who prints this? Huh, I know I did, uh, and I know I saw, um, about the art, Sarah Skeet, S-K-E-A-T-E, -E, graduate from Kingston University with a degree in illustration, uh, became a successful author and illustrator of many arts and crafts titles, including Zombie Felties, Steampunk Softies, and the Three Color Drawing Book. Interesting. So this is her. Oh, there is also. I'm so bad at this, aren't I? Um, the colors are back here too. So she kind of gives you all the options. I like that. Um, I have not done a flip through of that. Um, I don't know that you really could flip through it because you can't tell what the pictures are. Uh, I did get the new Camellia Angel Cova 50 Dessert Theme Miniatures coloring book. I have not done a flip through of this. Um, I should, so I will put one up. This is some really cute stuff, actually. <laughs> love this little outfit. He's so cute. Aww. I'm not one for coloring food, but I like like that. It's not so bad every so often. Oh, I missed a small book. Um, I did pick up Lisa Matrokin's e Is Easy to Color, which is on... This is an Amazon printed book. It's printed on cream paper. I mean, the paper's kind of thin-ish. Um, I know that she's going to be doing videos on every picture. Um, she just did a video on how to color iridescence on this one. I did a flip through on my channel. Um, the book is a little pricey. It is like $21.99 here in the U.S. Um, but the videos are free. Um, you can pay for her classes, which I have honestly thought about because she is very good. Um, but I thought I would give the YouTube videos a try and see what she can teach me and see if I want to continue with that. It was a really good instruction. It was like a 15 minute video. She taught you how to do the iridescence on the beetle and it was really, really good. I liked it. Um, I did pick up A Million Baby Animals by Lulu Mayo, which is adorable. Um, 
and I love every picture in this book. So that's a common theme with people. I got some happy mail from um, a swap that I was in. <laughs> Long story. Uh, so from my wish list, they got me mandalas with beautiful borders five, which I love these. Her, um, I did a flip through. There is a flip through of these. These are gorgeous mandalas. <clears throat> I think there's a six out now too. Um, and spring mandalas by Alexander Franzis, which is so cute. I think I have them all all but winter now and she did just do a collection of all of the seasons so you can buy the entire book uh of all the all four books if you don't have them um i did pick up blissful by vivi tinta um this book intrigued me i did a flip through of it i just these pictures made me happy this made me happy and I'm like, I have to try this because I suck at this. <laughs> and I just love how big they are. They would be really cute. Oh, look at that. Um, they would be really cute with acrylic paint. <laughs> I, I don't have the patience for acrylic paint. I would like to know how people make it look so easy and so beautiful. And I still may try it. I don't know, maybe not in this book. Maybe one of my other minimalist books. I got Double Trouble. I did a flip through of this. This is a Coco Wyo book that came out for Valentine's Day. It, it, yes, Coco Wyo. It is beautiful. I love it. It is adorable. Uh, like I said, there's a flip through if you want to see all of it. Oh, um, it does not disappoint. Uh, I picked up this, which most people are going to be like, what? Um, it was done by someone who is a Greyhound enthusiast. I do pick up Greyhound coloring books when I can. Um, I have like, this is like the third one I have. Um, designed to give lovers of Greyhounds the opportunity to color in some hand-drawn illustrations of their favorite breed. Um, so I think some of the money actually goes to Greyhound Rescue too. A portion of the sales of each book will be donated to charities that help support retired greyhounds. I have had personally three greyhounds in my life. Um, I miss them all very dearly. And uh, they were my, my doll babies and I love them so much. Watching them run is a, is just, it's poetic it's amazing you know and uh so i thought this would be fun these are beautiful little pictures i didn't do a flip through but i think i will i did get this kind of late a holiday magic i love herb leonard um and this christmas this is gorgeous a lot of people got this at christmas um i noticed i did not do a flip through of this one either because i just got it in january um but i love it I love love his stuff. We have to do something in his in his books. <clears throat> color Me Easter, a springtime color book, coloring book. I am going to do my Color Me collection sometime soon. These are all beautiful little images. Um, Cuz I know that someone wanted to see someone requested to see my Color Me collection. And um, I do not have them all. There are some I don't want. Um, and some I'm on the fence about. But uh, I have several. And I just, I didn't, I felt like, oh, there's a few more coming out. Maybe I should get those before I do my collection. I picked up a couple of mystery pixels. I think these are by Pixelmania. Oh, look. I got the winter and I got the valentines. Because I wanted to give these a try. I don't have these any... I don't have any by them, I don't think. I'm pretty sure it's Pixelmania. Even though they don't tell you. They... Pixel, yeah, books from Pixelmania and Feline Puzzles Press. Um, so, but they're big squares. Um, these are letters, not numbers, interestingly enough. Um, and it has a 26 color palette, which is cute. Um, can't really show you anything. Here's the Valentine's one. 
I thought it would be nice to try them out and see um, what the pictures looked like. So I need to do some of those in February. <clears throat> All right, so this one's going to take some explaining. <laughs> I got a copy of Alien Worlds. Um, this is my second copy of Alien Worlds. <laughs> because um, I really did something wrong, and I have a feeling it was um, too much water, but I'll show you. And uh, so I, I was, I was being a big girl and trying to use my neo colors, and uh, yeah. So I need to watch more videos. I don't. I have seen a million people use neo colors and watercolors and all kinds of stuff in these books, and I did it wrong. Um, I don't know if they're just treating their pages. I know I was using a lot of water, and that was my fault. Um, even when I was using, I didn't think I used that much on the yellow and it still kind of showed through, but I thought, oh, I can cover that up. And then it just, it just went wrong from there. So I'm like, well, I have a tester book. So now I've been wanting a tester book. I've been looking at, at eBay copies of different books. I couldn't decide what to get, but now I have a tester book <laughs> that I can test different colors on. And, um... And now I have a new copy of it. I don't know. Um, I have watched Erica. Um, I have watched... I can't remember the names of all the people that I have watched use Neo Colors. And I just... I, it has to be the fact that I didn't... Because I'm sure that a lot of them don't treat their pages. Now... Um, Candace suggested maybe I contact Shell from Shell's coloring journey, but her copy is from the UK, and I know, I at least think the paper is different in the UK than it is here. I don't know, is it better? Probably, because we tend not to have great, great printing here, um, but I don't want to disparage any printing press. Plume, an imprint of Penguin. Um, I mean, I thought this paper could handle it. So anyway, that's my story of why I have a new copy of Alien Worlds. Luckily, they're discounted now, so, because it's been out for a while. Um, uh, Doodle Robot totally sold me on this, and it's like $5 on Amazon US right now. So, if you want a copy, if you really like Zen Garden, it's not expensive. Um, I thought it was really cute. Um, nice paper. I'm obviously into collecting my nice paper books now. Um, I, I saw a lot of potential in this one to do some things. So, um, I've been collecting the Sarah Muzio books I like. I don't like all of them. I am not a busy picture person, which kills me that I'm still collecting pictures that are busy, but I did like this. Um, I think I can see myself, I really wanted to do the bicycle, the bicycles, for whatever reason. Um, really, really like that one. I don't love all of them, but I, I like the palm trees too, because we don't have any. <laughs> I like this one with the trees. There's a lot of pictures in here I like, and I really want to, um, you know, explore that. Um, I picked up Tropical World. I actually picked up a couple of... I thought I picked up a couple of Millie Maratas. Maybe not. No, I did. Huh. One is not in this pile. I picked up Tropical World and Curious Creatures. I know I got Curious Creatures because... It was one that I didn't have and I wanted it. I had the mini version. I don't like the mini version as well as the big version. So I decided to pick up Tropical World. Um, I got Symphony of Cute Animals. Which everyone has seen that is interested. This is a beautiful book. Um, I let... Uh, I let 
colored by Maya. I let Maya influence me. <clears throat> um, she did flips, and other people have done flips on... There's there's a whole Ilda, Ilda Muldoon uh, series of Scotland and Herbidian, Herbidian. I have to look up where this is exactly. I mean, obviously, it's in England, Scotland, the North. Um, I actually watch a TV show called Shetland. And I love it. Um, so I picked up two that I like. There may be one more. This, I got them on eBay. <clears throat> this, actually, no. This one I bought from Amazon. Because it was cheaper um, there. And this is really, really pretty. I thought it would be fun. And uh, this one I got from eBay. And I think this is the only eBay purchase I've gotten. Kind of like, meh, I don't know. Because... I can probably color that, cover that up. Um, it's been colored in more than I thought it would be. Um, so I don't know. It's not bad, though. Uh, and then I got Where the Wildflowers Grow, which is older book. It's, on, it's got beautiful paper in it. Um, I love flowers and animals and... And stuff like that. And I want to try my hand at some watercolor paper. Or wallpaper paper. And I got Fairy Tales. By Emily Lightholt Oberg. Because I've kind of wanted it for a while. And then the coloring group that's doing this as a project um, sold me. So I thought I would get it. Um, to do a picture and I don't remember which picture we have chosen to do for February but we are doing one in February if you are interested in being a part of the coloring group um, it's a lot of fun um, message doodle robot and she can add you to the group so I don't guess y'all need to see my curious creatures but I'm glad I thought about that because I'm gonna figure out where I put it it's here somewhere um, Things are a mess right now, as usual. Anyway, thank you for watching. That's everything I have. Um, I'm really enjoying shopping eBay and and things like that for the books. Um, it never hurts to look around, trust me. Um, and you get good. I mean, by... by You'll never get them 100%. I mean, you're really lucky if you do. Um, because you can only go by their descriptions. There is one more book that I am waiting on. Um, because I got Where the Wildflowers Grow. And it was from World Books USA. And I ordered another book that looked interesting that I'd never seen before. Winter Magic or something like that. But it was, uh, not, um... Oh, not the winter magic that I have. It was a different one. And um, they messaged me and said, well, this book was damaged from storage in our warehouse. So if you want to pick out another book then and that's a similar price, then we can send it to you uh, in its place, which was very nice of them. Um, so I went through and I'm, I'm looking. I picked out the Snow Queen, one version of the Snow Queen. There's like three or four. <laughs> Um, it's an English version, I could tell, um, so it looks really cool, but it has not, it's, they shipped it, um, it took a little, the interface between Gmail and eBay is not good, and so trust me, message from the app, it works a lot better. I, <laughs> I had to go back to them, because I got the, I got the original on, on Gmail, and so I just replied to that, and then I didn't hear back, and I ended up having to message them on the app, because I think it just gets lost, um, the way the interfaces work, because you're going from, anyway, not going to bother you with that, it's uh, technical stuff. Um, so, thank you for watching, thank you for reminding me that I have another coloring book somewhere that I need to find. <laughs> And I hope you enjoyed. I hope you saw something. I will link the channels um, and uh, things in the description. And if you are interested in anything that I can find for you uh, and, and link to you, then let me know. And I will be happy to send it to you. Hope you all have a great day. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.